Well, here to talk about the implications for the economy and the British pound with me is uh, George Buckley, Chief UK Economist at Deutsche Bank. George, thank you for coming in today. Um, just before we get on to the possible scenarios that await us on Friday morning, this last push that's going on. There does seem to be a little bit of momentum towards the Conservatives, but it's terribly close, isn't it? It is, and the latest survey by YouGov has suggested that there's only a five-point lead between mm. the Conservatives and the nearest rival, which I think is Labour in this case, in mm. this particular poll. Now that's, if you put it into a, a black box and a uniform swing, swing on it, it's, it's going to give you somewhere in the region of 40 or 50 seats short of a majority. Now we know that's probably not going to be the case. The Conservatives might well do better than that because they are so focused on getting these swing marginal seats. Indeed. Now, the, the sovereign debt crisis that's raging across Europe at the moment, um, is that something that in these very last days the politicians are going to try and translate on the stump, or is it really too late for that? They've got to stick to their core message, not? Well, I think what's happened over this campaign has been a lot of focus on the economy. Mm. And of course, we have a very large deficit. It's probably going to be one of the highest, if not the highest, in the G20 uh, this year. Mm. So there is a lot of focus on the economy. The good thing about the UK is that we have a much lower debt to GDP ratio than, for example, Greece. So that's quite encouraging news. And it means that we're not Greece. We're not going to hope not going to encounter the same problems. Mm. But with a very nervous, um, mar with very nervous markets at the moment, and, and we're hearing uh, Axel Weber come out in the last few minutes and talk about the, the fear of contagion. Mm. Is there a danger that uh, the markets will punish the UK for uh, a hung parliament or for the vacillation that we might have in that case? more than they would have done otherwise? Well, the markets have been moving diametrically opposite in the UK than they have been doing in, for example, the euro area peripherals. Mm. We've seen interest rates go up quite substantially there over the last couple of days. In the UK, 10-year rates have actually fallen. They're now standing about 385. It's about 20 basis points below where it was uh, only, only a week or two mm -hmm. weeks ago. Uh, so, you know, the UK, even in these difficult times, is possibly even considered a safe haven. If you look at the, uh, the spread betters as opposed to the polls, they would have us believe but the Tories are very close to that magic at 326 number which would give them the slimmest of majorities. Um, are we, uh, do you think that we're actually expecting to get a much closer result because, as you touched on earlier, um, the, the Tories have pumped so much money into those key marginal seats? Well, I'm, I'm not a sophologist, if that's what you call it, <laughs> but I'm, I'm certainly looking at what the newspapers are saying. Mm. And, for example, uh, YouGov in the Sunday Times over the weekend mm. was talking about the possibility uh, that we get um, uh, pro probably around about uh, 40 seats short. Mm -hmm. um, the Sunday Times itself was suggesting about the same. You know, th these are... These are still short of majorities, but they're not as short as some of these, these black boxes would imply. Indeed. Very quickly before we go, do you think that um, the, the pound will be strong if we get a, a decisive decision on Friday? Um, I think it probably will help the pound, but there's no guarantee back in 1974 uh, we, we saw the pound rally on, the, on account of a hung parliament, so very difficult to know. George, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.